Dark Survival Evolve! We are, of course, playing the Ragnarok map, and I am joined by Misaligned again today. Hello! Uh, we have got four objectives to try and take care of today. Two of them are, like, serious, serious objectives that we want to do, and uh, two of them are, like, bonus uber objectives if we can get round to them. Uh, the first thing, the thing that we have been threatening for a very, very long time now, we need to go find somewhere new to live, because this place is great. I, I think you'll agree with me that this place is great, but... It's um, it's a little bit limited. It's a little bit limited. We could do with having a lot more building space to uh, to build on, uh, and uh, I don't think this area gives it to us. I no, it's not really got the space to keep dinos in. No, no. I mean, well, we can't really build a dino pen here. This was great when we were getting started, but no good right now. There's a new new thing over there. At the bridge. Do you see that? Yeah, I was gonna mention that to you. Let's, let's take Trish over there and show other people. Okay, I'm gonna bring uh, Locri with me as well. So what is this thing here then? Great big pathway going across the sky. Not mine. This must be someone's safe way of crossing the beach. I mean, is it so hard to go and fight the Ichthys? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Which incidentally we've been calling them Ichthyosaurs. They're not Ichthyosaurs, they're fish. Um, Ichthyo, Ichthyocanthus, maybe? No, that's a type of plant. I don't know, but it's not Ichthyosaur. <laughs> Owner, the Iron Watch. The Iron Watch, that is Callum and his merry band of men. Okay. It's quite a substantial bridge. I'm going to run across the other side of the bridge. <laughs> okay, I'm slowly Down walking. the rock, <laughs> grab some water. As if I don't die of the dehydration first. Make sure you take the time to, you know, take in the view and stuff. I'm kind of missing that on my, uh... Mission for water. Oh, I should not have brought Locri with me. She might die. Ooh. She could very well. I'm actually a little bit worried about Trish because obviously she's not the biggest fighting force out there. She does have a level to apply though, so let's put that on somewhere. I was putting it onto movement speed because uh, she is still slow as anything, but I think I'm actually going to give her a little bit of stamina. She does a little dance. All right, maybe not the best thing to do on this bridge. When you get to the other side of the bridge, there appears to be someone's base. And it does, doesn't there? Are they just living in a little shack themselves? I was expecting them, especially with all this sort of building that they've got going, to be living in an absolute palace. <laughs> oh, there's a T-Rex of theirs down the end there. So all in all, it looks like Callum and his crew have been doing a lot of building here. Saw a couple of dinosaurs across the way. They, they look like they've got a bit of a shanty town on the go, though. It doesn't look very ornate at all. That's right, that's how we all start. So after our little walk around, there is a there is a, a drop coming down on the beach. I wonder if we want to go get that before actually leaving. A drop? Yeah, definitely. A, drop, a white drop. I've got a little bit of wood on me. I don't know why I've got wood on me. I'm not sure if that's something we need to, to travel with. I'm trying to strip down my inventory as small as possible so that we can be like traveling light. But at the same time, I still need things to like be able to fix my tools and also make arrows. Yeah. They're pretty useful. That's why I carry some stone and wood with me. I've only got like 25 wood though. I try not to keep too big a stack. Uh, I went to the wrong bit of the beach. Classic. Classic. Fill up my water skin whilst I'm here though. Uh, can I get up? I love the way that these things... Oh, Diflo. I was supposed to collect meat. Before we go anywhere, remind me that I need to go back and get some food. Oh, well, actual cooked food. Yeah, yeah. I need some cooked food as well. Now let's stop and look at it. Where I've is got it? Oh, some spark powder, tinto and azula berries, some raw meat, a campfire, a sleeping bag, which I'm going to put down in the place, and a water skin. Oh, hey. Oh, oh I didn't realise hey. you were right behind me. Sorry. Yeah. It's all right. The loot was not that useful. <laughs> it always looks like the hut's on fire. Oh, well, our hut is lit. It's got to be said. Man, my guy's just got no control. But I'm just going to poo here. Okay. We don't get like a message or anything like that. It's just no, no, poo. I, mean, I don't know about you, but when I need to go, I don't just immediately go. My body sends me warnings. Oh, Locri, you're sitting in your own poo. Really? Is that happening right behind me? Why Why would they do this? These <laughs> animals, right? They are weird. He's literally just sat there being like, yep. Gonna have to make a litter tray. I, I'm sure we can. I'm sure there's something like that. Taking two extra bits of meat. All right, let's, uh, let's go on a walk. Yeah, ready? Yeah. He's got a striking uh, colour pattern, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe he'll be here later. I should imagine so. should imagine so. I mean, what sort of place do you want to live in? On Like, high ground? Low ground? Obviously, we want to be yeah. near some water. Well, yeah, near some water. We need a fairly wide open spot. 
Uh, not too wide open, but fairly wide open. I see some flyers over the top of those cliffs there. Got to watch out for that. That's the other thing. We need to figure out what dinosaurs spawn around as well, so we don't end up like just being eaten by raptors every five seconds. Yeah. Or having our stuff stolen every five oh, seconds. Oh, compies. We can take these on. We'll get some extra meat as well. Hopefully. As long as we don't succumb to their tiny, tiny terrors. Actually, oh, it went for you instead. I always manage to hit the wad too many times, so I don't get the return from my hacks. Ah, oh, that's a little bit of a shame. Yeah, uh, like the number of times... Wait, 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 wait. Axes for hide. We don't want hide. We want food. No, he's not. What? Give it. Wow, that, that took a little while there. It's quite nice. This There's area? a lot of open space, yeah. It, yeah, it's definitely got an open space on the go. There definitely seems to be enough building materials around and possibly places to expand to as well up there. Though it's always a little bit deadly going into the uh, the jungle. A trike here. Yeah. Got a trike over there. Yeah, cool. More level cool. Way, you. He looks like he's taken a bit of a beating. He's a level five. Level five. And also what I thought were open wounds were actually just coloration. Yeah, this is quite a nice high plateau up here. There's beach down the bottom. Not the worst place we've ever seen, is it? No. There's also that plateau over there, which is a little bit smaller. Yeah, I mean, that's the good size for a house, but you're not going to put your dinos up there. Well, I don't know. We could have a, a big tower and the dinos just live on the plateau. We put a gate across the front there. Uh, we should probably... I mean, do we want to just make a campfire or do we want to make a, an overnight hut? Oh, what's that flying at me? I don't know. What's what flying at you? Uh, I thought fire. it was something flying at me, but he was over the rocks over there. Okay. Can we get our yellow drops? Is that a thing? Are we too low level? Uh, are we too low in level? Speaking of level, I have a level to put in here. Uh, I'm going to pop mine into carry weight as I'm not at 200 yet. That should hopefully take me to 200. And at level 20, what wonders can I get? Refining Forge. Bam. Oh, hit my microphone. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Refining Forge and Smithy. These are two things we need. We can also get metal picks and metal hatchets. I would like to make the jump to these fairly soon. Obviously, we need to uh, find where we're living first. And it's got incredibly dark. So yeah, uh, that's just... probably the last of the video we guys will see until dawn. I say that, but the, here I am coming towards this drop. And I think this should be bright enough for everyone to see. So I think in our exploration, we should definitely go and check out Blue Tower and maybe have a look at the summoning recipes, just so people can have some sort of idea of what we're aiming towards. Uh, I think that'd be a good idea for us to do. Okay. Also, super cold. Super cold. Requires level 45. Yellows require level 45 to open. We'll remember that for the future. Oh, you got a fire going. Sweet. Good job. Are you taking damage? I don't think so. I'm beating up a, a trilobite. Oh, you're, you're, you're being the savage. Okay, fair enough. All right, I think it's time to grab all the stuff out the fires and get moving. I'll take the one on the, the right here. Okay, I'm going to go up this side. I'm basically working towards Blue Tower, if you are okay with that plan. Yep. All right, sweet. I'll try and take it easy. Uh, who, who knows what could we could run into on the way. I mean, a vicious dodo could come and try and have us. Got to be prepared for that. <laughs> yeah. I really, really want to make a high-level dodo, so when someone sees it coming at them, they're just like, ah, it's a dodo, and then they're dead in one Rips shot. Their face off. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I think that would be hilarious. Okay, this is quite we'll a nice that. little flat area up here as well. We could yeah, definitely... There's a lot of trees and stuff around as well. We could definitely be down for living in this sort of area. It's a bit dark. Can't quite see everything that's going on. No, the sun's still quite low, though. I think Blue Tower is a lot further away than I think it is. I think we can agree, though, that this, literally four paces away from the place we were just talking about, is a terrible place to build. Yes. Uh, I might go up this way. I want to keep my lines of sight open rather than going down in between cliffs and okay. crags and stuff. I I'm scared. I'll be honest. We're, we're out in a, in a new area. Anything could happen. Chances are we're going to die. So we've got to keep high alert. Right? got to stay optimistic. Stay optimistic. Yeah, stay optimistic. We're not going to die. We could encounter new and wonderful experiences by being eaten by different dinos. <laughs> stay optimistic. Ah, oh, I fell off the rock. <laughs> oh, no. Spoiled. One spoiled meat. What? Did my spoiled meat just spoil? Is that really a thing? That's a really nice rock formation there, though. That one over there. Do we yeah, want to live on top of that? I don't know if we can live on top of it. Should we go and have a look? 
Yeah. PTE. Okay. All right. I'm trying to find out what level the Pterodon saddle was. PTE. Level 38. Level 38 until we get to start flying. Well, we're, we're more than halfway there. Yeah. So it looks all open. It does look all open. I was hoping it was just a big archway and it could be like the front door into our base. But Yeah. I, I was kind of thinking we could live on top, but it's going to take a lot of foundations and platforms to span that gap. Yeah, okay. Maybe not then. Oh, that, that, that is a shame. We could have done great things here. It's very pretty though. Is that where Blue Tower touches down? Oh, that's a bit weird. Every time I've been out somewhere, it's been like to one of the other towers. I've been pretty, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Pretty imposing bases down the bottom. There's like proper things to go look at. This looks like it's just an island. There's a wooden shack over there. Do you see that? Uh, I don't see you or which way you're pointing. Oh, I'm still on the edge of the rocks. Where are you? Oh, I see the wooden shack. Ah. I see the wooden shack. I've got a feeling. Let's go and check it out. I've got a feeling that is one of the things we've been looking for since, like, episode two. Maybe that little crack that I walked down. But it Maybe, takes you but... into the water. Yeah, yeah. This is why I reckon we should go around that way. Oh, look. Look at this. This is terrifying. Terrifying. Can we go down? Sorry? Oh. Oh, did you go down? Yeah. Oh, I was going across here. Ah, uh, no, I fell anyway! This probably isn't the way. I might come back up. Uh, no, well, I'm now in the water because I slipped off the log. I, I tried to run. I, like, noticed I was going a little bit too far left. I overcompensated with a strafe right and I ended up in the water. Who are we expecting this to be owned by? Does it have a tribe name? That's the question. That'd be so Decipher, right? I, I'm expecting so. No! Oh, it's, it's someone else. Mega White Water. Oh, is it? It is. Uh, I feel like we should like leave poo everywhere for him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What button is it to poo? No, that's that's a. Uh... There we did go. You just I whistle? found it. <laughs> yeah, I did just whistle, but now I've pooed on his doorstep. Right, I'm on, I'm I'm good. I'm off. <laughs> there is another one over here. This is wood. Now, is this Mega White Water's upgraded place? Could be. Could be. It's got a weird grainy texture to it. Oh, there it is. I couldn't see it to begin with. Yeah, it's got a very grainy texture. Yeah, and the grains move when you when you move. Yeah, that's weird. I don't like that. There's a lot of visual effects in play in this game that I just don't think are very good visual effects. I think they're quite bad, actually. For instance, let's uh, walk around the, the water here. Look at around my hand. Look at it. It's disgusting. That like I I cast reflections in water over there. It's ah, oh, it's terrible. Crop plots. Oh yeah, this is the man decipher himself. We were told that he was out here doing this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, very nice. So I think one of our episodes should definitely be farming. Uh, I don't know how much we're gonna have to do. <laughs> You're just dumping stuff in. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave some stuff here for him. Okay, I've not eaten much, but I'd really like to poo on his doorstep. It's kind of like marking my territory, right? So, we've wandered to the Blue Tower. It is a sci-fi masterpiece. Oh, wow. And we've got all this in the bottom. Okay? So this, this, is, uh, this is the thing that made me realise Ark had a purpose. There was actually something you could do in this game that wasn't just randomly running around and doing nothing. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to access the inventory of the Tribute Terminal. Um, and you can see that there's these... Green, blue, and red swirly things. I don't know if you can access them at the same time. Oh, yeah, I see it. Um, and you can see that you need the, all sorts of artifacts and stuff like that to hand them in. Uh, oh, if wow. you look at the blue one in particular, uh, you can see it's like an Argentavis talon and stuff like that. Down the bottom, it's uh, a tentacle from a Tusuthaneris. Yep, I took, a, I took a crack at this. Tighten a bow of venom. So it's all stuff that we can... Will you please be quiet? Man, I'm trying to discuss here. Yeah, he's going to squash me. Ah. Well, anyway, as you can see, all those tribute things were for making... Uh, were made out of dinosaur parts and artifacts that we find in the bottom of caves. Uh, so there's, like, list of things that you can go and do, which I think is great. What's Arc Data? No, creatures. Uh, so we can upload and download creatures. So if we brought some tamed creatures here, we could also put them into this tower and then take it to another arc. Okay. Um, but I never do that because it, it's 
It's almost like Terraria, right? Where you're like, oh, I'll take this other character to another world. Oh, look, I'm really, really powerful. Um, which isn't as much fun. What is this? We've got some beach dinosaurs here, and I don't know if we want to go save them or not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out, all right? Okay. I don't know. I mean, they, they kind of look like they're going to eat me. Whoa. Aggressive noises. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Oh, so this is... Uh, what, ah. So, you know, we've been fighting those birds. And we've been calling them Ichthyosaurus. Yes. This is the Ichthyosaurus. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so... Put taming food in last item to, to feed. What is it, what is it like to eat? It just says timing food. Probably Especially, something that you find in the water, right? Yeah, maybe like some... Well, I don't know. Does it like meat? Here, can we can we make you free? Be free. Be, be free. I can't I can't free them. I can't free them. Okay, I'm, I'm going to kill them. It's a, it's a mercy killing, right? I'm going to euthanize them. If you say so. He's just turned around. Oh, am I in danger? Uh, I don't think I'm in any danger. No, I, I don't think I'm in any danger. In fact, I'm starting to feel bad about what I'm doing. Uh, oh, and that back. is okay. the reason why we play Ark, is to summon in the bad guys at some point. Okay. I've never got round to doing it. Never got round to doing it. But we'll we'll keep a keep a note of what we need to do because we did it on the video, so we can see stuff. Okay. And we'll come back with some stuff at some point. Do we want to head up into town, into the 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 island, or are we kind of too scared to do so? No, I mean, we can try and climb up that rock face. and Because uh, it looks like quite a big plateau up there. There are a lot of trees, though. Over to the right there. Do you see that? I do see that. Let's Yeah, let's go up and try and go rightwards. Okay. Ah, uh, swimming. Try not to die. <laughs> I, I know you have problems with water. There we go. You should see her trying to have a drink in real life. She's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> Uh, I reckon we turn right if we can. Uh, though that also does look like a saber tooth sanctuary, if ever I've seen one. Where? On the right. What, down the beach or up the hill? Up the hill. Oh, there's a stego up there. Stegos are fun. As in, like, sound safe, cool people, you know? Someone you want to hang out with. Yeah, someone you don't mind hanging out with. Not someone who's going to, like, eat all your party snacks, be <laughs> onto your bathroom and leave you in the in the morning. Trying to be cautious. Stego's fine. Ste uh, I don't think a Stego ever actually... No, but there might be other things around here. It's a bit jungly. It is a bit jungly, isn't it? But, like, I, I always oh. see the Stego as a sign of um, an area's niceness, if you will. I mean, if the Stego's not dead, nothing's killed it. Okay. Oh, saying that, this is a private one. This is Decipher's Stego. Oh, is it? Suddenly not oh, so okay. fun. Um, all right, keep your eyes open, people. There's a fire Campfire here. here? So, someone has been here before. Oh, wow. This isn't a ruin. Oh, wow. This is not a ruin. Uh, I, I think I know where we are. I think we have stumbled upon Decipher's place. Oh. Like his big place that he moved to. He's been telling okay. us about this. Dang it, Decipher. We wanted to live here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's cool. It's cool. Okay, well, we'll just keep walking around the beach. Maybe there'll be somewhere else close by. Yeah, yeah, I'll just keep on looking. I, I am, however, going to stick my face in his place and uh, have a look. At, have a looky, looky around. Is this actually where we are? Uh, claim allowed. What well, we can claim him? Uh, I think we're all right. Whose place like is this? It. So the, yeah, this is Decipher's. It's all right. It's looking good. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. It does look good. Let's have a look at this. He's got a water well on the go. He is just like. Uh, penned off this entire upper area here. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. He's got a wow. He's got a lot of dinos. So all, all over there is still open. We could definitely live within eye shot of him, right? Yeah, we could. We'll be like, no, 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 our place now, because we're like super mature gamers. <laughs> that bit over there, just kind of one tier down, if you will. I mean, we could. Should we go and have a look. Go have a look. I mean, this this still looks very nice. This whole There's a nice area. island over there as well. I mean, I shouldn't imagine Decipher's going to be too annoyed if we move in. I shouldn't imagine he'll be annoyed at all if we move in anywhere around him. Ah, nearly fell off the uh, edge of the cliff there. Hi. Hi. So we've also got this drop-off here that I was thinking about. So we could end up building a wall across this way. 
maybe with a little bit of curve into it, so we just end up with a nice, nice bigger area. Yeah, because it would give us a nice odd shaped base rather than the average square or circle. Okay, so I reckon we go from that big boulder over there, where that pteranodon's coming in for a, a land. That big boulder over there. Okay. Come out at an angle to about here, and then go straight across over yonder. Okay. And then we can pin into this cliff top here, and that will give us a, a two-sided base, cliff and cliff and wall. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Do we have a quick scout around to make sure there's nowhere better, though? Uh, yeah, okay. Okay.